Good afternoon. A jury is now deliberating in the case of Mark Redwine, accused of murdering his son near Durango nearly nine years ago. Closing arguments in the trial started about 10 this morning. News 13's Francesca Washington is here with more. The prosecution argued that Redwine's strained relationship with his son was the catalyst for the murder. Dylan had started to realize things about his father, the incredible hatred that he had for his mother and his brother at times, the way he acted, the things he liked, and their relationship had deteriorated incredibly over the past couple months before the murder took place. Redwine is accused of murdering his 13-year-old son Dylan during a court-ordered visit at his Durango area home back in November of 2012. Prosecutors say Redwine killed his son after he found compromising pictures of his dad. The prosecution said Dylan's phone usage points the blame to Redwine because he was with Dylan when the teen's communication with family and friends stopped. They also pointed to the blood found in the living room of Redwine's home. They say the blood was found under the carpet and believe there was an effort to clean it up. The defense claimed that blood came from a simple cut and the so-called murder was the result of an attack by a wild animal. The defense argued a lack of DNA evidence, lack of a weapon, uncertainty about Dylan's cause of death and lack of a motive should lead to an acquittal. You may not like the pictures of Mr. Redwine. And you may not approve of the way he handled himself during the search for his son. And you may not approve the way he handled himself during the divorce. You may not approve a lot of things he does. But if they don't know what happened, you don't know what happened. The defense also argued Redwine wouldn't have had time to commit the crime and go to work the next day. Dylan's remains were found north of Vallecito Reservoir in a rugged part of the mountain about 8 to 10 miles from Redwine's home, months after his disappearance. His skull wasn't found until two and a half years later, about a mile and a half away from the other remains. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Francesca. Mark Redwine is charged with second-degree murder and child abuse resulting in death. If convicted, he faces up to 48 years in prison.